sword, sword, or lock. You're like, ooh, of course it is. Lead on. I'm behind you. Need me to carry something? Yes, I do. You can carry that. Need a Are you using it? Guide us. No, you're not. I give you a present, you don't even use it. Kind of a dick, Tarlock. Will you use this instead of the hunting bow? Uh, need me to carry something? I guess we'll find out Maybe later. Alright. Stay here. Oh, Tarlock. Tarlock, no. Oh, shit. Huh? All right. Good. I believe. Go on. Go ahead. Nope. Carlock. Carlock. No. Oh. Oh God. Ah. Carlock's dead. Wow, that was so short-lived. Carlock, why did you run into the trap? Oh. Carlock. Eh. You okay? You're not okay, are you? Oh. Come on. Play around like you used to. Left me like you used to, Tarla. Uh, whatever. I guess he's dead. We will have to move on without him, but his memory will add texture to the story. Or, you know, whatever. I'm sure, we won't remember his name. A couple of minutes. Hi there! Albert the Magnificent has many powers. Um, he might be overpowered right now, though. And just kind of walk up to guys and kill them. I think magic is kind of like that. In the beginning of the game, you just kind of, like, kill everything. And then, midway through the game, you run into kind of a brick wall. You realize that all of your powers are, you know, you miss one shot and all your magic is gone. And your character is going to die because he has no health. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going full mage. 100% mage. That. I take that so hard. So. Scary noises. Edger. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah, another lock. Hey, I'm the lock chain. Roll of mass paralysis. All targets in the area that have failed to resist are paralyzed. I wonder if that big baddie at the end of the dungeon can resist. Uh, I guess I'll find out. Although it is worth $500. I don't really hate that boss that hard. I don't. Hello? Hello? Oh, saw movement. Okay. Hi. Albert the Magnificent. Ow. Hi. Yay. Albert's greatest foe yet has fallen to his mighty flaming great sword. Got eight dollars for that. Yay! Another lock. Oh, I broke one. There we go. I redeemed myself, guys. Society. Well, that was to move forward. No, don't 
crap stuff. Uh, I'm not sure about Tarlock dying. Albert's strength. We are different people. Arrgh. Oh, don't you shoot me. Ow. What you made me do? What you made me do? And then you go. And you can sleep. Alright. I never got what the point of or this one over here. I never had to fight them. I usually fight them down there. Oh, this is the hall. Oh, it is. I use my mind powers. Let's see. You get in there. Butterfly. Owl. Is it a bear? Bear bug owl. I don't know, it looks like it could be a dragonfly, or it could be, um, a abstract representation of an angel. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Yes. Albert the Magnificent powers are many. His knowledge crates. It's like he's played, I mean, lived this life many times. Specifically this dungeon. Yeah, bad. Not Albert. All right, more bats. Bats that flew into the wall. All right. Hello. I take this first. I don't think. I don't think it means for us to, but well, that'll help us in the main boss battle. Prices are twelve percent better. Thank Christ. my hidden chest back here. So I've played this dungeon too many times. Remember all the weird next hidey spots. There it is. Nope. It was that way. Gold. Oh wow. All of that was sellable. Awesome. I think that water was Sometimes the mods don't quite mesh with the game well, and you end up getting weird glitches. But these waterfalls make noise. Also, the water was carrying spots. Uh, where is it? Somewhere over here is another chest. And down there. Oh no, it's right there. Ah, well, I think I had not pulled on it. We are safe. We can buy perhaps two slices of cheese with that. That's two more than we have right now.
do we have to do? We can go into town and sell our stuff. Uh, it's a little late though. I'll meet someone? Maybe you can find a hobo's like bedroll and sleep on it. Albert the Magnificent doesn't believe in paying smart controls. So he has to sleep on the streets. Or I mean he's fairly old. So all these years of being magnificent have resulted in learning how to shoot fire and conjure a dog that dies recently. So don't tell Albert that his his power is shit. He's learning. Oh, a dog. No dogs that die easily. I shall now take his skin for my own. My skin. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him. I feel like ever since playing that. What's that game? Far Cry 3. Is it Far Cry 3 where when you skin animals are like bloody disgusting corpses left all beady on? I don't know, it just feels I'm weird. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. Uh huh. But I like your robe. And uh. I don't hope like that. Use my magic day powers. No, I can't. It seems really hard. I think like one time I played this game and the first thing I did was like run up to her by accident and attack her because I wanted her stuff and see, there's a horse over there. There's a horse over there. Hello horse. Hello. That's a dead guy. Yep. Oh. You not have an owner? No. Oh okay. yeah. You want an owner? Can you stop picking out and smelling your former owner's dead corpse? Alright. Yay! Albert has made a friend. His name is my horse. I don't know his name. Uh is it him or her? Ooh, it's a her. Her name is Jessica. Jessica the horse. Together, Jessica the horse and Albert the Magnificent sell boldly stride into the horizon to sell their shit they found on dead bodies. Oh, what a lie. Let's go across the water. I hope she stays with me. Because if she doesn't, we're in trouble. I'm gonna have to like lock her up in the stuff and tell me go somewhere. Yeah, I'm in Riverwood. I'm gonna be not in Riverwood for much longer. Oh, that was. All the shops are closed. I don't really feel like bothering talking to that dude tonight. He's like, oh, you should go down to that place and talk to them about dragon stuff. Or I can just cut out the middleman and go talk about the dragon stuff. I guess they give me like $2. They're like, take what you need, here's a dollar. You can buy a candy bar. And then you do. It's a good story. Don't run from me, dear. Come back. Oh, oh you're gonna run in the water. Yes, dear. Hi, bunny. It's just really pleasant. Me and Jessica, I and mean, Albert, Jessica, we are two completely different people. Oh god. Oh god, go away. Go away. Ow. Go away. No. Jessica. Jessica! Come on, Imperials. There we go. That sucks. Barely even do their job. Jessica almost got a boo boo. Doop, doop. Oh, that didn't sound good.
Oh. Here's too much Pepsi. Oh, come on. Pepsi. Pepsi is always a positive for existence. Except it's live stream. Don't. I feel like I would pour myself out for Pepsi. They gave me Pepsi like, all the time. Oh god, I get really fat. So, but I'd have less. Yeah. What are you doing? Come back here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come back. I like wearing armor and stuff. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, pin you up. Oh. Yeah. The modded. Alright, uh. I'll just leave you at the front gate then. Oh, you guys are just going over here. You need to Jessica, if you leave me, I'll find you in the woods and kill you and drop your skin and sell it. So don't do that. City guard. Ooh, connecting to this event. Get off. If you start walking, it's starting to walk the away, away isn't it? Official business only. Uh, I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. No, wait, we're bitches. Stand aside, or else Albert Agnesson will woo you with his pants. Or else what? You think you I can told stand you. against the entire White Run City Guard? Yes. The gate's closed. Alright. I have news about Helen and the drone Fine. attack. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Good. Bitch. Oh, Jessica! Jessica! Oh, I had you for like two minutes. Where did you go? Oh. Oh, there she is. Uh, fine. That's because a one night stand kind of gal. So we have real women, we have to buy from the man that over. That's how life works. At least for Albert the Magnificent. Oh. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial yeah, I... soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Uh -huh. Why don't you swallow that stubborn uh -huh. of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? This, uh, conversation huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm cloak. I'll bend something. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take he the job. Stop but don't expect a miracle. Hey. And you turn to walk. You guys are talking about this at 12:43. Textual conversations are a little weird. Hi. Nobody's weirded out by the strange man that made it through the gate that's technically closed off right now. The strange man wearing necromancer robes in a not matching hat. Okay. Oh, where's that crazy guy? They usually murder him and get in trouble. Ah. There's bedroll up here. I know he has a bed somewhere that you can usurp. Laying up here. Huh. He has a house. I feel like there's a bedroll somewhere in town. I remember seeing it once. Unless I'm crazy or, or it was... Yeah. Enhanced cities thing. <sighs> Go to the inn and pay for a bed. Because Albert is not some kind of psychopath who can stand unblinking and fill the street for 12 hours. So. This is the uh, standard. Perhaps they have rooms here. I don't remember. 